welcome back to another video. This is a little bit of a different setting uh, than most of my videos here. We're in the office and I wanted to put together a super quick video talking about engraving your knives, you know, engraving your logos, um, maybe the model, all that stuff. About 95% of the people that are subscribed to my channel are knife makers. And if you're like me, um, you like to add a little bit of personal touch to your knives uh, that you send out to customers. Now in the past, I've used the electro etching process, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know about. If not, I've done some videos on it and there's a lot of downsides of doing that. So I decided to pick up one of these fiber lasers. Now, if you're like me, you probably have seen these and maybe heard about them a little bit in the past, but um, they're a little bit overwhelming to get into these, to say the least. Now, I've been shopping around and trying to get one for about a year now, and I finally pulled the trigger on it. This thing literally showed up yesterday. Um, I got it all set up and kind of set up here in this little spot. My desk is actually where the camera's at, where I do all my editing and stuff like that at. But uh, I wanted to give you guys just kind of a little bit of the basic information that I've learned about these things. Um, to maybe give you guys some confidence to get into one uh, because like I said it took me about a year to commit to finally buying one of these so let's get into the video so there's a few things you need to know about these before you kind of make the plunge to order one now the first thing that was kind of a turnoff for me is you cannot run the easy CAD software that these run off of from a Mac um, maybe you can if you're smarter than me, but I guess you guys need to take note. Um, I'm not super, super computer savvy. I can kind of work my way around it, but I'm not like some computer whiz by any means. But all my editing and everything I do on a Mac, so I had to buy a PC to be able to run the EasyCAD software. So that's a kind of a downside, um, especially if you're running a Mac right now. Um, so now that I've got that, um, I had to source one of these and these ship directly from China, unfortunately. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people are uneasy um, with getting it. Um, so this one went through the Ally Express kind of whole thing and they offer a lot of security and it's, it's nerve wracking because they are expensive um, and spending that kind of money on something for me has been super difficult, but as you can see, it's here. Everything worked out how it's supposed to. Um, from the time I ordered it, from the time it got here was only about 10 or 11 days, which is pretty impressive to me. Um, it arrived in a nice crate. Everything was packaged super, super good. And um, everything worked. So, you know, no complaints so far. So what you get with this is, as you guys can't see below, there's a big box that's kind of the power source, I think, and has all the, you know, the on-off switch and all that stuff, which is down below. And then you've got the actual laser thing that you guys can kind of see what it is here. You've got an adjustment here to focus your laser, and then you have to decide what lens you want when you order the laser. Kind of, I guess... Uh, you know, like this one is 160 millimeter, I believe. Don't quote me. Um, you go bigger if you want to do bigger objects, maybe smaller if you want to do smaller objects. So for me, I'm specifically doing logos and very small detail work on knives. So I went with a little bit of smaller lens. Um, there's a few other things I kind of wanted to touch base on. Um, and why I wanted to make this video, like I said, is just to kind of ease your mind if you're considering buying one of these. Um, this one ended up costing somewhere in the like $25, $2,600 range. It is a 30 watt Galvo laser, okay? Fiber laser. Um, I don't know enough about all the different types and all that stuff to be able to explain it to you, but I feel like if you're watching this, you're probably like how I was a few months ago um, to where you just want to understand the basics of these things. And probably in the future, I'll do some content, maybe a little more in depth once I really figure this thing out. Now, I spent the last day trying to understand how this software works, which like I said, when you order this, you get a little package and it comes with a USB flash drive, comes with some pretty awesome looking glasses. Check these out. Super sweet. 
because the light that this thing puts off, it is, it's like a welding light and it kind of hurts your eyes. Um, so on that flash drive is this Easy CAD 2 software. Um, it's super simple, super old school, um, uh, and kind of basic, I guess would be a good way to put it, but there is a little bit of a learning curve that I'm figuring out here um, as I'm getting into it. Now, I think uh, what you guys need to know is if you have no computer knowledge or anything like that, um, you're going to need a little bit of help getting this set up, okay? Because I've got my logo here and I had to convert it to a different file type and I had to um, use this program over here that's called, let me tell you really quick, Inkscape to be able to basically convert my logo into something that this laser can actually etch. Um, I'm not going to get into a ton of that right now because I don't fully understand it all the way. So I don't want you guys going off me and asking me a bunch of questions because like I said, I've been messing with this now for about 24 hours. So I don't have everything figured out. However, there's a ton of really good YouTube videos that I've been watching. Um, and I've got a couple buddies that own these as well that have really helped me out along the way. What I wanted to just kind of talk about briefly is the setup and getting it where I'm at. Okay, it took me a couple hours to get this thing working. Of course, the driver was not found for this in here, so I had to find the driver. That's where a buddy came in and sent me his driver and it all worked out. Um, the computer synced up with it. Um, I opened EasyCAD and I started messing with text and different stuff like that. And now I've got it to where I'm able to engrave my, lo my logo and it's silver and it's looking good. Now, all these different settings and stuff in these is how you adjust how deep or how dark or how light you're engraving. So that stuff I still have to get into. But let me bring you over here and kind of show you this software a little bit just so you get an idea. Um, and I'm going to engrave something just to show you that I've got it figured out a little bit. And then if you have any questions... Uh, as far as, you know, this super basic, obviously, I'm not trying to make this video like I know what I'm doing. I just wanted to put this out there. So if you guys had any questions about the super basic, um, just information on these that I've kind of found out from buying it, you can reach out or maybe you'll learn it in this video. All right. So here we are in front of the computer here. Again, this is EasyCAD and this is my logo. Okay. And I've got it right there. Basically, uh, I had to take this software, this Inkscape software, and I had to do this trace bitmap function on my logo to make it to where EasyCAD could recognize it uh, and be able to actually, oh, hang on, be able to actually uh, etch this thing. Now, Hang on, there we go. Okay, so let me fire up this laser. Right now it's not running. So if you come down here, you can see there's these buttons here. And this gets a little bit loud. And so as soon as I fire that up, you can see over here on the laser, it puts a little red marking dot, um, kind of where that laser is focused or where it's pointing at, which is cool. So let me just take one of these little cards. They sent a couple of these little cards. I think they're just little test things with this. Now, I'm not going to go over how I got to this point, but it took me a long time to get this figured out. Um, but all over here is all your settings for your laser speed, your power, your frequency, your loop, and uh, like I said, it's a lot of stuff that I don't fully understand yet, but a lot of these settings can be looked up and adjusted um, depending on what you're engraving and what you're trying to do. So now, now that I have this logo to where it's how I want it, you can hit this light function. And what that does is it gives you this little spot where it's going to engrave. And you can use the arrows and bring it over. I'll center it over here a little bit more just to show you guys. And I'm actually going to make it a little bit larger really quick. Maybe just to show a little bit better. So I just kind of drag it. And like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, okay? But I'm slowly trying to figure this out. And hopefully this video will help you guys 
if you've considered uh, getting one of these. So we're gonna make this a little bigger. And you can see all these little lines inside the graphic, okay? I don't think I have it exactly right, but it has to do with this hatch and adding hatch to it and all this stuff. Like I said, it's a lot of stuff I don't fully understand yet, but so we're gonna hit light again. Let me show you how it's looking. So that gives you an idea of where it's gonna actually hit when you go to mark this. So we're gonna come over here. I think I've got all my settings the same from earlier. So we are gonna hit this mark button right here and it will actually engrave the logo on this little card. So I'm gonna hit it right now. And you can see it does a few passes because I have it set as a seven, it's doing seven passes. And this is the setting for a silver against steel. So you can see I've got it to where it's actually pretty clean already. Um, here's a bunch of mess ups. I've been messing with it, obviously. Um, just a ton of weird, you know, trying to get this thing figured out and focused and all this different stuff. There is kind of a lot uh, to learn with these lasers. All right, so I just kicked it off. Um, so as you can see, the whole process is actually pretty simple once you have all everything figured out and set up, which is what I wanted. I get, I get a ton of requests. Uh, from customers that maybe want their initials on a knife or maybe the steel type I'm using or all these specific things and you know up until now I've used little vinyl templates and it's just super time consuming and kind of annoying um, to do custom stuff even just to do my logo so the main reason I got this is just to save time um, I can you know you can take a knife you can set it there adjust it hit mark and you've got a logo and you can move on and move on. So it's kind of a big time saver and it gives some cool custom options for the future, especially once I figure it out a little bit more. So um, if you guys have any questions for me, drop them in the comments. Like I said, I don't know much about these, but I have now learned uh, kind of going from the guy out there researching for them, trying to understand it to now I own one and I've got it working somewhat so far. So um, hopefully I'm gonna uh, learn a little bit more about this and I'll try to pump out some more videos using this if you guys wanna see uh, more on the laser and once I understand it a little more maybe, but uh, yeah. So like I said, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something from it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you're interested in any of my knives, there's always a link in the description below how to get a hold of me. Um, I'm really easy to contact and I'd love to work with you. So like always, guys, thanks for watching.